speaking of how RSI continues to spread unrest in the valley in this News X Sunday Guardian exclusive, chilling details have emerged of about how Pakistan's intelligence agency continues to fund protests against the Indian state, leading to incidents of violence, stone pelting in the valley. We have learned that RSI has here marked a budget of a whopping thousand crore, thousand crore for arming terrorists to work against India. According to intelligence sources, the RSI channels this money through Hawala route into the Kashmir Valley, where disgruntled youth are then paid for throwing stones at security personnel. The money is also channelized for separatist organizations who have been using the funds to spew venom against India. Today, Kashmir problem is seen through the prism where Pakistan is the main perpetrator. People have realized, not only in India, but also in US, UK, and other nations, that it is Pakistani dispensation which is, uh, which is responsible for all kind of terrorist activities, and they have been isolated today. There are uh, certain problems in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, and uh, we are trying to address those problems, finding, uh, trying to find solution to those problems. But uh, it is like uh, fishing in uh, troubled water. IS, what IS is uh, trying to do, or IS is doing, is uh, nothing but uh, fishing in uh, troubled waters. That should be condemned, and the uh, government should probe this issue and uh, take appropriate action. Pakistani intelligence agency ISI has released an amount close to rupees 1,000 crore to the separatist groups and also to the overground workers of terrorist outfits working in Jammu and Kashmir uh, to fuel the public protest after the death of militant Burhan Wani as per the official sources. Now the official sources also uh, told us that this money is going uh, through the Hawala racket and it's, it's going to some of the MLAs and also to the compromise officials of Jammu and Kashmir government and also to the some of the separatist group. Now it remains to be seen when India will take up this issue on the international level because ISI has been fueling the protest in Jammu and Kashmir for a long time now. With video journalist Kapil Solanki Mohit Bhatt in Delhi for News X. This is a huge amount of money that is set aside by ISI, ISI for this activity. But the loss that is uh, incurred by uh, the economy of Pakistan is possibly not taken into account because for any terror activity to punish you are taking resources away from the main economic activity. It needs to be repeatedly publicized around the world that these are special, specific, declared, semi-official budgetary allocations for export of terrorism. Secondly, this publicity on this fact will shame Pakistan. 